have a Cobra Kai. Oh, you're over there. Oh, I thought, I thought you were over there. My bad. Bonsai, I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and today is a very, very special video that I've been meaning to make. And as you may or may not know, I uploaded a trailer or a teaser, whatever you want to call it, for the Cobra Kai Episode 1 recreation, which is a project that I am working on. Now, if you don't know what this what this project is, basically, I'm recreating the entire first episode of Cobra Kai, word for word, character for character, shot for shot, costume for costume, all the costumes are the same, all the um, <coughs> camera angles are the same, so if, like, all the, all the camera shots, every single camera shot, if, um, Expect even during the fight scenes, there's some fight scenes, and I literally get every single angle, even an angle that's in it for 0.5 seconds. I get that angle, and you know it, it. It's a very hard and difficult thing because even if it's a shot that's 0.5 seconds, figuring out the angle and figuring out the action could take 20 minutes, and that's 0.5 seconds. This is a 27 minute episode. So if you do the math right there, 20 minutes for 0.5 seconds, not every, not everything would take 20 minutes. Some things go by quick, but for the most part, like, um, for example, uh, the, the, there, there was a fight scene in episode one where Johnny's fighting, uh, the bullies and, um, that one took the whole summer, the whole entire summer, the whole summer. Uh, I probably have like three hours of footage that would cut down to two minutes less, not even like a minute, 30 seconds, like three hours of footage because we had to do so many different takes and all that. And yeah, so basically this is a project that I always wanted to do because I love Cobra Kai and I've always wanted to put myself in the universe. And I thought, what, what better way than to recreate the first episode? And I saw, I'm a, I'm a Star Wars fan, and I saw um, these guys recreate the whole Star Wars movie. Like, they weren't so specific with it. They didn't do it camera for camera, um, costume for costume. They weren't that specific, and they were kind of laughing. They were doing it in their house. So, you know, Star Wars takes place in a galaxy far, far away. They didn't go do all the details, but still, it's a, it's a very hard thing to do. They recreated a two hour, 30 minute thing. Since this is only 27 minutes, I didn't wanna just, ha excuse my language, I didn't wanna like half ass it. I didn't wanna just like, you know, I, every single thing in this recreation is as accurate as it could be. All the costumes, all the locations, we've had to go to different locations. Like, like we've literally traveled around the town. Um, we have went outside, it's like winter time and we've gone outside in the freezing cold to film some of this stuff. And yeah, I've been working on this since March of 2019. Now, I will admit that I wasn't continuously working on it because I, um, if you guys don't know, I have another YouTube channel called DrewTube, which I have a link to in the description. And if you guys are a fan of uh, what I do here on the channel, if you're a fan of like cre creativeness and movies and stuff like that, I do, um, I make a lot of like movies and short films and stuff like that. And that's all my channel DrewTube. I, I do some, I have a Lego series. I love Legos. I do some Lego stuff, but I have some like movies. I have a Star Wars fan film. I have a Pennywise fan film. I just love movies and creating stuff. And even with the Legos, I don't just, they're like Lego movies, like Lego show. It's a Lego, I have a Lego show that like real episodes that really, it's like Cobra Kai, like it's a natural show, but you know, it's in Lego. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, that's in the description, but I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, so I have a lot of other projects that I enjoy doing. So um, part of the reason why um, this Cobra Kai recreation has taken so long is 
one because it's a very long project you know it would have taken a year regardless i think but um i i work on other stuff i make i do other movies and stuff so there were there were some periods of time where i would take a break from it and then i would do other stuff and then i'd get back into it and now we're in crunch time like my at first this wasn't my goal my goal was just to make it but now my goal is to get this out before season three comes out because i think um you know the hype for cobra kai is like there's there's mad hype for Cobra Kai, so I really want to release this when Cobra Kai is about to come out. Season three is about to come out, maybe like a week before, and I'd say that's gonna be like April. I don't know exactly, so just to be safe, I, I'm hoping to get this thing done in March, just so I'm safe. And um, we've really been like because once again, I've been working on other projects too, so I've took a break from it, but. Over the past few months, I've really been getting back into it, filming every single day, um, and it, it's a lot. And it, so it's me, pretty much playing all the characters. I I um I don't really want to I don't really want to give too much away. Uh, I know it's not the most. I know not many people are really excited for it. Now, hopefully, when it comes out, it's more of a big deal. I don't really want to, like, I want to kind of prove myself first, and I want to leave it a surprise, because it, it it's really funny. It's really funny, because it's like a spoof. So I tried to make it as accurate as I could, but at the same time, it, it's like a spoof, because it's me literally pretending to be all these people. So, it, it but at the same time, hopefully, it's like a good funny kind of thing, you know? Like, it's like, it's like supposed to be like kind of cringe, but like, um, I am a filmmaker. I don't just, um, do Cobra Kai discussions. I make movies and stuff. I have a love for that. So that's why I connect to Cobra Kai. Like, you know, it's because I, I connect to it on the story level, like more than the action. I think and I, even with the writers, I'm sure I'm sure they they'll agree that the action comes second. That is that is the story. That's part of the story. Like there can't just be action for no reason. It has to like enhance the story. And if you really look at all the scenes of Cobra Kai, they don't just have fights for no reason. All of the fights like develop the characters and stuff. And that's what I take from the show. I, I really connect to the show as a filmmaker and all that. So, and once again, if, um, you know, check out my channel, DrewTube, just so you could see what kind of stuff I do. So when the Cobra Kai thing comes out, maybe you have, or before it comes out, you have a little trust in me. I, I want you guys to kind of trust me on this, but I don't, I don't really, I don't think I'm going to put any trailers. I know I did a trailer, but that was like a, it was like an announcement kind of trailer. Um, I was I was gonna announce it, but I'm not gonna release any footage, any footage of anything. Maybe like at some point I will, like a little, but like I really don't want to release that much footage because I want it all all 27 minutes to come out at once, and I want you guys to just watch it, enjoy it, laugh, smile, and get thrown back to when you first watched that first episode. And now the question you may be wondering is, why am I recreating the first episode? Why, just why? Like, what made me want to recreate the first episode? The first episode is my favorite episode. It's my favorite. Now, um, I don't know. I mean, I really, honestly, I don't really have, uh, I, I, I have, with the YouTube and with uh, my Instagram, I've started to develop a, community within the Cobra Kai like family so I'm very grateful for that but in terms of real life I don't really have that many I don't really know that many people who watch the show I don't really talk interact with many people who watch the show it's pretty much just me um I, I tell people to watch it they don't listen which some people listen and then they're like oh my god Drew like you were right this is the greatest show ever and I'm like I told you like it's like it's a show where it's like it's like it's a hard thing, but like, it's a hard thing, but like, anyone could watch this show and like it. Anyone. Anyone. 
Like, and you want to know what that, what, what makes it that way is the first episode. Because that's the first thing people are seeing. That first episode is pure genius. I have watched that first episode by itself. Well, with this, re with this, I've watched it so many times, but with the recreation, probably like 50 times, like 50, like five zero, like, I don't even know. Like I've, I've watched it so many times and like, you would think I'd get sick of it, but like, I'm just like, wow. Like, if you, like, I want you guys to go back and rewatch that first episode, um, if you want, <laughs> um, and just really, if you do, just go back and look at, think about the story. Just think about it. Think about every scene in that episode happens for a reason and it's all setting up something and it does it so organically. Nothing feels rushed. Nothing feels out of place and everything happens for a reason. You have the flashback of the tournament. You have, you show Johnny, who's a miserable lowlife. Then we meet Miguel, which, you know, we're first introduced to this character, who, like, is a nice kid you feel bad for. Then we see Johnny's daily work life, um, and he looks like crap. Then he gets fired from his job. Then he goes to the mini mart to get a slice of pizza. Uh, homeless Lynn thinks he's homeless. <laughs> And then, you know, you have the, the bullies who um, beat up Miguel, who we are connected to, we already met. And jo and he throws John he throws Miguel in Johnny's car and Johnny's like, hey, watch the car, man. Uh, you know, Johnny beats up the bullies. Um, and then Miguel asks if Johnny could train him. Johnny says no. And Johnny goes into his apartment, sees Sid, his stepfather who says, I'm buying you out of my life, gives him a check. Um, and then Johnny rips it up, be like, I, I'd rather be homeless than take money from you. And keep that in mind because that ends up being important later. Then you have Johnny watching Iron Eagle, which um, in, in the movie, they like talk, they like say like inspirational words that make Johnny think about his karate past. And it's like, he has a passion and God gave him this gift that he must, Unlock, and then all of a sudden the, the Daniel Russo commercial pops up, and you have Daniel Russo popping up throughout the whole episode. And then Johnny's trying to turn off the TV. He turns off the TV. He's pissed at this Russo commercial because Daniel's throwing in all the bonsais and the karate in his commercial, which is like you know Johnny doesn't like that because obviously he lost to Daniel in the tournament, and Daniel's just kind of he's not really showing off, but to Johnny is like hey, oh, enough already with this. And then Johnny goes into his car. Then you get the, I would say this is the greatest scene of Cobra Kai. I would say this is the greatest scene of Cobra Kai so far. And that is Johnny in the car listening to head games. And I'm going to go over that in another video. I, I might do a whole breakdown of episode one because as you can tell, I, I and it's like, oh my God. Like I, there's so many other good episodes, but like, I, and like, you know, you know, you don't really have Robbie in this episode. You don't have Samantha in it that much. Miguel's not even in it, really. And Miguel's, like, my favorite character. Daniel's barely in it, and I like Daniel. It's really, like, pretty much all Johnny. So why am I so drawn to this episode, even though Robbie's not in it? Um, not, I, 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 not that I don't like Robbie. I do like Robbie. <laughs> That's not why. Um, it's because it's the perfect setup. It's because when you when you would first give me Cobra Kai and give me that first episode and then I watched the rest, maybe I'd say like, you know, episode 10 is my favorite or something, which it is like amazing. But then like once you see the whole series and you go back and you look at episode one, it's like, damn, episode one, like you watch all these things unfold and it's like, this is the perfect setup. For this show. Episode 1 sets up the entire show. So is episode 1 Cobra Kai? No. It's not. Like we don't really see Cobra Kai until later. 
I'm not talking about like that. I'm talking about the show's premise. You know, the, the plot of episode one isn't the plot of the whole show. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's the setup. But I think it's the most fascinating, beautiful setup ever. Like, I just... Oh, my God. So then you have Johnny in the car listening to Head Games by Foreigner. And, oh, my God. I downloaded this song from Cobra Kai. I downloaded this song on my iPhone. I'm in school. Like... I'm just walking in the halls, jamming to this song because like, you know, as unfortunate as it is, you know, I hate school and like, it's like, I get so stressed out because like I, I do all these movies and projects and things and I have so much going on. So sometimes I'll just be walking and I'll be listening to head games and it's like, head games, it's you and me. It's just like beautiful. And then you have like, like it's so relatable because you have Johnny in the car thinking about his past while he's like drinking, not the drinking part, I don't drink, <laughs> but you have Johnny thinking about his past and actually like recalling these memories and like you see him like smiling in the car. One of the greatest, one of my favorite shots of all of Cobra Kai ever is when he envisions Allie in the car and then he has the smile, it's like, Cry. I'm not even kidding. Like, I know you guys might think I'm actually exaggerating or whatever, but I actually have tears. So, oh my God. Oh my God. Because it's like, like, don't you ever, like, don't you, oh, I didn't mess it up. Don't, whatever. Don't you ever, like, just, like, go in the car. Well, I, mean, I don't drive, but, like, don't you just ever, like, think about your past and, like, like no one else knows what you're thinking and you're thinking it and you're like, <laughs> You're like smiling yourself because you're seeing the image in your head. So just seeing him think about these things and like then you see the, the crane kick and Daniel's kicking him in five different ways and, and Johnny's just banging on the car wheel and he's like he's like ah, damn it and like haven't you ever had that time where you like said something or you did something that you wish you could take back, that you wish you could do different? You were so close and then you're just like you know you're just wherever you are and you're just like out of nowhere you know you're just like you're just like sitting and you're just like down, down. you know just out of nowhere and that's what he's doing which is so relatable i relate to that because i do that you know and then he arrives at the all valley arena and you have that amazing scene of well not amazing because crease was choking johnny that's obviously very unfortunate and that was horrible but crease is choking johnny johnny's drinking it, it, he, he's envisioning this because he's drunk and you know jo Johnny's like getting all mad because he sees Cre he sees this vision of Crease choking the young him after the tournament and they even oh my god beautiful they even include the back of Johnny and Crease and then they have the actual Johnny there so they, they got like stand-ins they got they got like actors who had like the same hair and body so, and they had put, gave him the jacket and they had like the back of them doing the like cr back of Crease, who wasn't actually Martin Cove and William Zapka was different actors, but you had them there like doing the choking. And then you had William Zapka who was at real life Johnny like looking and it actually looks like he's looking at this happening even though it's a vision, but it, it really made it seem real, which like that's just, that's just great uh, filmmaking. And then, then we get the the scene that starts it all. Then we get the, the part that starts it all. And if it weren't for this, if it weren't for Yasmin, and if you don't remember Yasmin, Yasmin's the blonde girl, um, the blonde haired girl who was like the bully. If it weren't for her, the show would not be possible. And I'll tell you why. Thank God she was texting while driving. What? Why can't, Why would you say that? It's horrible to text while you drive. Yes, and, and don't do it, don't do it. But if she never did that, she would have never crashed into Johnny's car. And because she crashed, crashed into Johnny's car with Samantha, Daniel's daughter in the car, because, because she did that, Johnny had to get his car towed to LaRusso Auto. And if Johnny never went to LaRusso Auto, then the rivalry would never have resprung. 
And then we wouldn't get the show because Johnny reopens Cobra Kai because of the rivalry, because of his, you know, because Johnny opens Cobra Kai because he goes to Daniel's um, auto shop and because, the, you know, Daniel's like kind of boasting, like whatever. And, and he's like, and Johnny realizes what he has to do. Like he needs to open Cobra Kai. So man, and, and then when you, you have that whole scene, it's beautiful. Johnny goes, Johnny goes to LaRusso and when you, when the, the tow guy hands him the card and it says LaRusso Auto, and Johnny's like, no, no. And then you see Johnny arrive at LaRusso. It's like, it all built. I'm going to cry. Oh my God. I'm, it all builds up. When you have Johnny at LaRusso Auto looking at the, at the dealership, it's, Beautiful. It's the most beautiful setup. It sets. Oh my god! The whole episode sets up that moment. Nothing it, like from when Johnny's a low a deadbeat in the beginning to that point. It's like so much happened, and it sets up the entire show. Every scene in that first episode sets up the entire show. Nothing just gets forgotten, and then. He walks into Russo Auto, and I love one of my favorite scenes. He's like, he has a hood on. He's like walking. Someone's like, "Hey there!" Uh, no, Louis is like, "Hey there!" Can I offer you? And Johnny's like, "No." And he just walks by. And he's like, "I, I, I want to get my car towed to a different body shop." And then Daniel's about to come out. It's so funny. And then and then Johnny bumps into Daniel. Daniel's like, you know, they they talk. Daniel's kind of like, yeah. I think a lot of people think that Daniel was being a jerk. I don't think he was being a jerk. He was messing around with Johnny. I think he doesn't have as much sympathy. I think he kind of, I think he thinks that, you know, his way is more the good way. You know, as he says, like, you know, we're all better off without Cobra Kai, right? You know, I know that wasn't you. That was just Cobra Kai. Like, you could think a little more into that, man. Like. You don't have to say that. You could have thought a little, but I, I think people took the whole um, Daniel being a real douche during that scene a little too far because I've watched it thirty times and I don't. I really don't think he was for the most part. There were some things, you know. I know. To be fair, I kicked his face. I know that that was kind of like whatever, but he was he was just kidding around, you know. I'm sure, Johnny like would have done the same, you know. So. I, I found it fun. And, and that's what they do so good about the show is that it's a balance. No one's good. No one's bad. It's the perfect balance. I'm just going to charge my computer really quick so it doesn't die. And we're... Okay, we're rolling. So, wow. <laughs> I just went on a whole thing about why I loved episode one. And I, I said I was going to make a video on that. But I guess I already did. Um, <laughs> Maybe I'll, I don't know, but anyways, back to the the recreation, which is what this video is about, man. So that's why I'm doing the recreation for all those reasons I just said. I love episode one, and I don't even think I have to explain why. I don't even think I have to go any further into that. So that's why I'm doing the recreation. Now, um, once again, as I said, I, I I've been working on this since March of 2019. Um, and I've had a lot of fun with it. Now, I play pretty much most of the characters. I won't say who. Then I, my grandpa plays some of the characters. My grandma plays some of the characters. <coughs> and, you know, I have, I, even though you guys don't know her or whatever, once this thing comes out, huge shout out to my mom. And shout out to all the moms out there. Now, my mom. She's not gonna watch this, but like, my mom is the greatest. She filmed everything with me. Like, I did the stuff that I could do on my own, but if I needed someone to film, like if I was in a, if I was outside or something or doing a scene where I needed the camera to move and I, I can't film myself, my mom would film and she is, I'm very appreciative of that. Like, I, I cannot even begin to thank her. And she has some scenes where she's in fights. She's in some fights. And then there's another, there's some other fights where she's not even in it, but she plays the back. 
So, like, for example, like, there's a part where I'm, like, fighting a character. I'm two characters, and I have to fight myself. And it's like, how is that possible? My mom would be, like, the stand-in. We gave her, like, a wig, and she would play the back of one of the characters while the camera saw her back and my front. And then we would, like, switch costumes. It, it's... I don't know. So it's basically... I can't give myself all the credit. This was her too, so I just I just want to say that I, I know that doesn't I know you guys probably don't really care or whatever, but I just I just I just feel the urge to say that because there's I just I just can't not mention it, even if it's not a big deal. It's like okay, thanks thanks for mentioning that. I really don't care. I I just I just had to because of like my gut or I. I Point in my heart and I was like my gut <laughs> or just just something I need I just need to say it and when this thing comes out I'm, I'm definitely gonna give her all the credit because she films pretty much 75% if not 80% of this and she is in the hardest parts like some of the hardest scenes the hardest scenes she was filming no not she was filming she was acting in those and then she filmed a lot of hard scenes so um, a lot of cold nights in the cold, you know, outside, it, 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 it's, it's a tough thing. And I'm still filming, but I'm very close to being done. I've been working on this every single day, trying to tackle it, trying to get it done. And uh, hopefully I can have this thing done by um, before season three comes out. And yeah, I, I'm very excited about it. I hope you guys are too. I, I know I didn't really give that much away about who I'm playing, what's, what it's gonna, what it's gonna look like. And all I could say is, you know, check out my other channel, DrewTube, see the kind of stuff that I do, and maybe you'll get some trust in me, um, because I do love making movies, and I have a huge, huge admiration for Cobra Kai, and I will never, like, I, like, I, I put everything I have into this. Once again, a, a, a clip that is 0.5 seconds that you guys will see like that, that you will never think about in your entire existence will take me like days to edit or something. So, um, that's all, that's all I, that's all I could say. So, um, I think I covered everything I wanted to say. Um, yeah. So I just, I love Cobra Kai. <coughs> Well, <coughs> kind of, kind of been talking too long. It's it's like eleven thirty. I'm like on a school night, but you know, whatever. I I wanted to make this video, and I and you wanna know where what, you wanna know why I couldn't make this video because I was filming the Cobra Kai thing. We were outside doing it. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. I I appreciate it. Um, I man, I I can't wait to do. I, I just, I just, I love this channel. I'm so glad I made this channel. And hopefully this thing turns out good. Hopefully you guys enjoy it when it comes out. I'll, I'll, we'll talk about it more. And also, I am very much considering pretty, yeah, I, th I think I will. But um, let me know. Doing a live stream discussion where we, we could talk about the, um, the episode one recreation before it comes out and you guys can ask me live questions. We'll do like a live thing on YouTube. Um, I'll schedule it and we can mark it down in our calendars and then it'll be a live Q and A about the episode one recreation. And then we can do future live streams where we just talk about Cobra Kai and stuff. So that's what I'm thinking. That's the plan. So yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to karate chop that subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed it, comment down below, are you excited for episode one recreation, what questions do you have, do you want to see a live stream Q&A, uh, make sure to share the channel with all your fellow Cobras, and until next time, remember that Cobra Kai never, ever dies.